What's up, guys? It's me, Andrew, and today I'm actually going to be doing another, uh, like, a talk video. And to this, I did one about um, TU31, and that's already came out, which is pretty, it's a pretty cool update. But I actually want to talk to you about is, like, Pocket Edition compared to other Minecraft games. Because I see sometimes on the internet people saying Pocket Edition's better because it has different than console because it doesn't have the those biomes blah 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 well it's morally against the console but what i think it is like like i can't i agree in that in a way with that but in different kind of ways because we already got the mesa biome the ice biomes tega biomes whatever but what i think about it it like is bug wise like since the pocket edition is less updated it will have, and Xbox is more updated, Xbox will have more bugs that they need to fix, but when Pocket Edition is, well, has that update, it will have the, it will have that, it won't have that bug because it would probably already be fixed. And there's like other reason why, because Pocket Edition has servers, I talked about this in my TU31 video, they should have like, they had they should add like servers and realms to the Xbox, but sadly they never did. I, nobody will know why, because like again, what I said, you're basically you're technically paying for realms because Xbox Live is technically would probably be paying for it. And if you don't know what realms are, server a server a server is basically something a multiplayer thing. It can involve in many games, factions, um, um. I don't Hunger Games, um, Capture the Flag, um, Build Battle, all that good stuff. And Xbox for, and Realms is basically a server run by Mojang. Um, it basically is a thing where you buy you you buy like a server in a way, and you you buy a server and you be. And it's like in, instead of it being like a anybody can join thing, it's like random people. You have to like like you have to invite people basically. Like let's say you know your friend's account account and you want to invite him. It's like a, basically a private server for. It's basically a private server for you and your friends or whoever you want to play on. Or you can just invite everybody in the world and that would be crazy, but. You know, nobody will know everybody's name. So, yeah. And if you're just wondering what I'm building here, I'm building a zombie mini game. Or creeper. Whatever. Yeah. So if they could if they could add um if they could possibly add um servers to a Minecraft Xbox edition edition I would be that's would make me like it like it more because I again it can be boring to play alone or whatever and pocket edition it's a weird way to do it but you can actually get mods for it it's very weird how to do it I've never actually done it before not I'm not gonna try it because I don't want to screw up my iPad but it base it's just basically a um mod thing and map and Xbox. I think you. I've seen people somehow get like a lucky. I don't know. It's like I've sometimes seen like a few mods out there. I think I'm not really sure if they're like fake or not, but I wouldn't think so. But they're on and on Xbox. Trying to get maps is very hard to do because like you on I. I, iOS basically you have i emulators you can find them um, it's basically a thing where you pay nine dollars a year for apps that work really good with like screen recorders on um, uh, games they actually have an app called Minecraft Maps and there's a village of sound so yeah and so I'm just like that's basically how like Minecraft can my, Pocket Edition could be a little bit better than Xbox, but of Redstone wise and yeah, Redstone wise, um, that's basically that's.
that's basically Xbox has way more redstone wise. I mean, they just added redstone. It's still a little bit glitchy. Because and they don't actually have proper repeaters, and it's weird to make a. Re you can make repeaters, but it looks like this. It's very odd how you actually do it. So I wouldn't. I wouldn't probably recommend doing really awesome redstone stuff. Like you can't build really awesome redstone stuff on pocket edition. So yeah. So anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. I'll see you guys later. Bye.